What's up, guys? Welcome to uh, whatever this is going to be. Just doing a test run today. Got to practice my casting, as uh, I haven't really done so much lately. Let's go ahead and get this replay started. We're going to be looking at a replay uh, from Rainbow, the Korean player. You can see right there he's speaking in Korean. And he's going to be playing Terran against the Zerg player from OGS named Zelox. Now, Scrap Station map, typically a lot of people think uh, Zerg is favored on this map. And we'll have to see how this goes for the Terran player. And really, I'm looking at this game simply because oop, I need to make sure I am on uh, busy, so I don't want to get messaged. And uh, I'm going to be looking at this game because I'm also playing uh, five games a day as each race. I do play random, but now I'm going to start race picking each day. Uh, five to ten games as that race, and then watching a replay afterwards to see if there's kind of anything I can improve on for the next time that I play. Uh, and I have been doing a lot of two racks openers in this matchup because, let's face it, the Marines, uh, they're pretty good against the any Zerg for the most part. Uh, we are going to be seeing a... Uh-oh. Really? Really? Did I choose the six-pool game? Jesus. Well, we'll have to see how this goes. We have a drone coming out to scout for the OGS player, Zelux, and, you know... Sometimes you get replays that you don't watch because you don't want to spoil them and, and want to have true enthusiasm in the game. And you find a six pool. And there we go. Look at them. Look at those eggs. Guess what's in them? It's six zerglings. Oh, we're going to be a six pool here. There's the overlord coming. Rainbow has no idea what's going on. He just sees that uh, overlord has no idea what's going on in the base. And his racks is about halfway done. Uh, he's doing your bread and butter opening for the Terran player. And he's got six links coming. So, I guess if I'm going to take one thing away from this game, I'll, I guess it'll have to be uh, how to deal with a six pool of some form. Another depot coming over here. Not sure why Rainbow would put it right there. Um, don't really see any benefit to doing that. Maybe to scout right here if he's doing like a proxy hatch or something. It's probably just not meaning anything. And there's the SCV. Oh, hello, six lings. I'm just going to run by you and then uh, try to save my life. We have the Marine coming over here. I like the fact that it has rallied away, but these lings are going to try their best to get a nice round on it. No bunker going... Uh, really? You know, I guess I didn't think of that. He can just load up and lift off and go to the island. Okay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. He's going to run his... SCVs around, and he's just going to pick up and go over to the island. Now we see the Zerg continue uh, to produce lings. There he goes getting a drone. He is going to have to get gas and figure out some way. You know, I didn't even think about it at the start, but uh, this is probably the worst map to six pool uh, ZVT because your opponent can just lift off and go to the island, and that's exactly what Rainbow is going to do. We have some SCVs coming here into the main base of Zealous. He's going to Try to see what is going on exactly, and he's pretty much seeing what he expected to see. A pool, a uh, small amount of drones, and he is going to die. Uh, you know, I really wish the Zerg would have taken these depots out. That would have put this behind that much further. Uh, although he lost those SCVs, so I guess it doesn't matter too, too much. I also like the fact that uh, the Overlord here from Zelix, just to make sure... Uh, there's nothing too, too crazy going on, and it looks like he's going to go uh, finish off these depots over here, so that's good to see. Uh, but, Scrap Station, I guess if you get six pooled, if you're going to learn anything from this game, he's probably like, why the fuck did you just six pull me <laughs> on Scrap Station? It's that you just lift off and uh, go to the island. Marine will not be able to get that Overlord. There's really not that much to analyze right now in the game. Uh, it is good, though, to take out these depots if you ever six pull on a map like this that your opponent just lifts off on. Go and take out all of his structures regardless, uh, because let's face it, your lings aren't going to be doing a whole lot. I feel like Zealous probably made too many lings uh, to begin with, but I guess I guess he wanted to make sure that his six pull was going to work. He's actually, let's pop open the unit production tab, up to 12 drones. He's actually put the drones onto the extractor, and he's slowly going to be getting some gas up there, probably getting that... Uh, Lair as soon as that queen pops out and over here in uh, I guess Rainbow's main uh, See now this is what I'm talking about. He does have to rebuild those depots as you can see I'm doing right there. He needs to use his mule. There he goes Still supply capped and his supply depot will be finishing right now Ooh, I also like the fact that a factory is going down here. If we can get some Hellions out, that's going to be very very good uh, Of course against Lings and he won't really have to worry about uh, you won't have to worry about getting up to tier 3 of the starport for 
Uh, Terrence, we do see the lair coming in here from a Zelix, and <laughs> he's going to sit his lings here on the very edge. Uh, Starport going down now. It looks like he's uh, going to go ahead and get it anyways to make sure he can get off the island. And is he adding it? No, he's, he's just making some hellions here from this factory. Uh, also, this is very good for you uh, Zerg users out here. Uh, regardless of where your opponent is, this doesn't really have to do anything with the island. But the fact that you have an Overlord here, an Overlord here, and an Overlord here, probably is one more like right up here. Uh, but just to keep your component component, your opponent contained. See, like right here, that's good uh, with this Overlord right there. Very, very good stuff from Zelix, even though he uh, even though he four pulled there. And we do see a Tech Lab. Looks like he is going to be going for some Banshees, perhaps. Uh, he might want to secure this other Vespian Geyser, though. Uh, we only have one Hellion right now. He's currently supply blocked. Do not see. Uh, there goes the Depot just now finishing. And I'm very interested to see. Pop it up the production tab. Spire's coming up, we do notice that, and there's the Banshee. Doesn't have enough gas to support Cloak, so we probably won't be seeing that anytime soon. Uh, but if we can get enough gas up here from Zelux, uh, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I want to say Zelos for some reason. Um, but if he can get enough gas up right now, uh, this might be in the Zerg's favor. Uh, we do have some Hellions coming in here. Let's see how many kills these guys actually get, as they are going to be working their way into the main base. Uh, no links just yet, not sure. Come on, man. Oh, that's not the best thing to do. Good control, though, from the Terran player. If he fights off creep, he can definitely kill all of those links. We have one of the Hellions there. Very low. He's going to go in, try to get some more kills, and he is going to do it. Let's pop with the unit lost. Tab, we're now up to 12. Here comes the Banshee, and the Spire is not done just yet. Uh, but I think this Banshee is going to lose this fight, actually. Oh, never mind. I thought that the Queen might have gotten too many hits there in the beginning. Uh, but, of course, the Banshee will win out. Spire is finished. How many? We have uh, one Mutalisk in production. Wow, that Hellion has 11 kills. And he's still going. He could probably, probably kill all of those. And he just might do it as he's having great control. That Hellion, let's pop over here see what this Banshee is doing. Not good. Banshee should probably be killing something else more vital to the Zerg. Uh, but that Banshee is going to go down. The Mutalisk is going to sit there. This Hellion finally dies right there. Popping up the unit lost tabs. 34 units lost right there. I think we started that last, uh, last time we looked at it. It was around 12 or 13, so quite a lot. Oh, I like that from the... Uh, Excuse me, the Zerg player there using the uh, contamination onto that orbital. Probably, maybe should have used it onto the starport, but uh, of course it will delay SCV production a little bit longer. Turret's going to be going up, so no more of that will be had. Uh, looks like the Ling will be kind of rushing around to find anything. And there is probably, this map is so bad, I hate you, and I'm going to leave the game. Uh, the Zerg maybe could have stayed. I mean, he didn't really have anything for this Hellion, though. The Mutalisk, uh, I assume, was around somewhere if we pop up the unit tab. He did have one Mutalisk, but, I mean, that's a really, really annoying game to win, uh, no doubt. But, at the same time, I mean, that's what he gets for six pooling on a map like Scrap Station. So, I apologize. I did not watch this game uh, beforehand, and I probably won't be watching any replays beforehand as well, because uh, I want genuine excitement so to speak and uh, altogether I just want to work on my casting and I figured I might as well just upload them to YouTube at the same time so I'll probably probably be doing one of these each day uh, all the way leading up all the every day all the way leading up to MLG Dallas which will be of course happening on April the 1st so we will see you guys there and uh, we'll see you tomorrow as well if you're going to be watching these as uh, I'm going to be doing them every day we'll see you guys later peace